Hello, today we're going to do uh, The Police, Every Breath You Take. And uh, today I'm using the Marshall Origin 20 along with the EVH chorus pedal. And let's see what that sounds like. Here we go. <laughs> See what he's doing there. All right, so here we're going to go on the fifth fret on the E, seventh fret on the A, and nine on the D. So it's a pretty good size stretch there. And it's going to sound like this. So we went from five, seven, nine, back to seven. And here we're going to leave our middle finger and our pinky there at the same spot. And we're going to move our number one finger to the G on the sixth fret. And we're going to upstroke our picking. So it's going to sound like this. And we're going to go. And then when he hit the D. So it's going to sound like this. Same exact picking technique, uh, but we're going to the F sharp, second fret, second fret E, fourth fret A, and sixth fret D. And again, we're going to leave our middle finger and our pinky at the same spot. We're just going to move our index finger, our number one finger, to the G on the second fret and do that same thing, upstroke. Oops, upstroke. And the secret to this song is, uh, is your palm muting, so you don't want the notes to ring that long. It's gonna be a... So that second part. We're going to go 5th fret on the A, 7th fret on the D, and 9 on the G. And that's going to be, after we hit the 9 on the G, we're going to go to 7 on the G and 7 on the D. See how that is? And we do the same thing, uh, but we're going to move up a whole step. So we're going to be on 7, 9, 11 on the G, and then we're going to go back to 9G and 9D. So. And then back to the riff again in the beginning. So let's see what that sounds like, medium tempo. And then on that other part, I think it's when he says, oh, can't you see, or something like that. We're going to do the same thing again on the 5th uh, fret A, 7th fret D, and 9th ninth, ninth fret G. Instead of going up, we're going to go down to 3rd uh, fret A, 5th fret D, and 7th fret G. And then again, we're going to move our pinky to this form again, to like a power chord type thing. So on our ring finger, 5G to uh, 5D. So let's, let's take it from that part, from the A. Here, we're going to go to 7th fret E, to 9th fret A, 
to 11 fret on the D. And it's the same thing. Uh, see, it's the same technique as we did over here. So. We're just going to go down um, our fingers. So meaning we're going to be 7A to 9D to 11G. And then we're going to go back to the riff again. to here again, the F sharp. And here he does the chord uh, be an F chord, and like a da da da. Make it real strong and powerful. Up to the G. Back to the F again. And then back to the riff. So let's try the whole thing medium tempo. I mean, that's the whole song. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit out of sequence, but you have an excellent idea of how, you know, if you know this part, you'll know how to play the song. You'll, you know, hear the changes when he goes to the A to the F sharp, you know, so a little A9. <laughs> Let's try it up to tempo. And I think the effects, he has a chorus and he has a delay and he has a reverb. But for lesson's sake, uh, you know, the delay is going to wash some of the notes and this and that. You just kind of want to hear the notes and add the, uh, the coloring later. So let's see what it sounds like. Two, three, and. <laughs> some lightning there. Where do we leave off at? Whoa. The show must go on.
Yeah, a little journey there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do a journey video of the uh, Steve Perry bench. Um, as soon as the weather gets a little bit nicer, I'm gonna head out to his hometown and check out his uh, bench that he has there, Steve Perry bench. And uh, yep, I'll post that up as soon as I, uh, like I said, as soon as the weather clears up, I'll be heading out there.